Welcome to a video from TheDigitalLifestyle.com, a new Windows 11 build to look at. This is build 26212 for the Canary channel. Just a couple of changes with this. The Canary channel is now split off onto its own branch from the dev channel. And one of the things that they've included in this build is some changes to the sharing screen. So you can go to share, Windows share options, and there's a couple of new features in here. One is if you're using Gmail, it's got sent to yourself, which will appear. But you've also got this QR code here now, so you can do generate QR code, and that creates your QR code, which you can then share that. So, yeah, quite a nice little feature. So the other changes are fairly minor with this build. They've done some sort of experimenting with Copilot and its positioning in different um, positions and some different features. And they've paused the rollout of these experiences, so they're just going to make Copilot do what it does like this now. And then um, the things like it, extra image uh, searches and moving it around, things like that aren't uh, available anymore while they test that. So you've just got Copilot as it is in the standard rollout. Uh, the rest of the changes are just fixes. They've fixed an issue with the advanced startup option not working. They've fixed an issue causing features on demand not to install. And they fixed a couple of co-pilot issues. There's a fixed issue with the uh, system tray um, where it would not be on, correct on the second monitors. And they fixed a couple of issues with File Explorer, which would call, and one of them being File Explorer would crash, and a couple of Windows display crashes as well. There is a couple of known issues. Uh, if you're trying to install this from an upgrade and you get stuck, then you're going to need an ISO to do that. And um, that's for if you were stuck on 26040 or 23620, you can you can get an ISO and do a clean install. So that's actually all the changes um, that are in this build. Microsoft say that this build is not tied to a specific um Release of Windows, they're just using this to test out new features and uh, we could see features coming here that may not be in, uh, in the final version or we may see features that come on here and then get transferred across to the release version before this sort of next up major update to Windows. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and you'll see more on the thedieselifestyle.com.